from Training.TV. My name is Margaret. I'll be your broadcast engineer for today. I hope you all are doing well. Hey, Nick, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Good, glad to hear it. We are going to be doing vertical schema design for the next, uh, for today, tomorrow, the day after, so till Thursday. If you would like to support the channel, <laughs> feel free to uh, pick up one of our paid subscription bundles. It pretty much covers everything you need to know about the FileMaker platform from beginning to an intermediate level, so you can confidently make your own solutions. Uh, every once in a while I get people go like, hey, why should I do this when you guys make a lot of free stuff? Uh, one, our free stuff isn't nearly as edited, animated, or focused, as it's more of an interact with the community and encouragement of continued ongoing training within the community. Uh, it means it's about they're hour long and we meander. It's just the way it is. We prefer it that way for a variety of reasons, but it doesn't always work for everyone. Uh, so if you'd like to tackle very specific subjects on very specific things and get very specific answers, pick up the video training. Also, it helps keep the lights running. So if you happen to like the show, feel free to pick up the subscription as a way of supporting us. I think I'm probably good, Nick. So I'm kind of content to hand it over. Oh, we have questions, by the way. Do you want to do questions now or questions? Yes, yeah, we have a question from yesterday, right? We do. Does all the stuff you were doing yesterday work for WebDirect? Because WebDirect doesn't allow fields on top of other objects. Of course, yes. <laughs> it will work on WebDirect because... I try to figure out if uh, there's a reason why it won't work. Because we're hiding the objects. You know what? I'm going to try, right? Doesn't hurt. And it doesn't <laughs> hurt. You know, so I'm going, uh, I will answer this question tomorrow. I'm going to try. I have a web direct table. And I will put two, up, two fields uh, on top of each other. And I will hide one. And see if we can click through the other one. Normally... Work. Well, we'll figure the click out. through doesn't work if you have a two visible objects, right? But if you hide them, mm -hmm. I don't. I try to, read, you know, uh, yeah, it's it should work. Question. Yeah, yeah. T tomorrow we answer the question. <laughs> uh, the next one is: are is is this a good technique for converting multiple forms? Yes, of course. <laughs> Yeah, of course, it's another good application on this system. If you have a form, right? Mm -hmm. But um, so, but depending on how you want to present the form at the end, right? So depending on type of form, but um, you can um, because the form it that you're going to print. Uh, I don't know if you can make it as a list like this. But if you want to try to put something on the side like this, right? So um, it might be complicated to do, um, you know, to organize. But because um, this is um, depending on the form, by the way, it is depending if it's a succession of questions like yes, no, less, or you know, uh, yeah, it could be uh, depending on depending on the form, depending on what you call form. If it's if, if it's a form, if the form can fit in a part in a pole, yeah, right. Otherwise, it would be a little bit complicated to to say you want that record, that record, you, because all all fields in the record is not flat, it's not flat, it's vertical, right. When you have um, the we call it vertical because you know it's an accumulation of things. Uh, when you have a, a field in a in a table, this is flat design. This is vertical design, right? So when you have a field on the table, that's a flat design because you, you know that's why we call that table like a you know you eat on it, right? And uh, that's flat by definition. And this, it's a list, so it's vertical. And um, yeah, I I depend on the on the form. It, um, you know, if you have a form like, oh, are you married? Yes, no. Uh, what the what the last let, latest place you visit last year? Uh, did you ever got COVID? Uh, you know, if you if you have stuff like this, right? So yeah, yeah. In that case, yeah, then you can put side by side 
two poles like this, you know, you can combine, you know, for example, yes. Okay, let, let, let's, let's play with this, right? Um, so uh, let me share my screen, by the way. Let's say I have my demo, my, my demo stuff here. So I have this here, right? So that is the, um, so you want to split this in two poles, for example, right? So, um, so let's duplicate this layout because I don't want to mess up this. So let's say you want, uh, because I don't have a lot of, uh, let's say you want those three first and then you want, you want those four, right? But here we have a, we have a separate separator. So, right. So you do, um, like this. And for the demo, I'm doing this, right? But of course, it will be different. So I have two poles like this. So you can do a, a, like a form like this, right? So imagine, imagine something like this. And, um, you know, so let's make it this like this, like this, right? Okay. And you say this one is from one initial row initial row one and this is I want three and this is initial uh, row um one two three four five and you want four you know for example boom boom All right so you separate it in two so if you, you can have a form like this, you know, we have multiple columns like this. If you can, we, so you, you have some freedom here on design, right? Because you play with this. Yeah, let's say you have a form, like let's say you want to do that from the from the, ra the row one to the row 20. And then you go uh, from the row 20 to the, you know, to the row 40, to, to the row 21, to the, to, you know, one to 20, 21 to 40. So you have 40, you know, but you can put that onto fields, onto columns, right? We're using this technique with the pole, like I just showed you, right? So yeah, definitely you can do that. You can have multiple columns like this, right? So you, I can see that you can have, and then let's say, let's say you have uh, from one to 10, right? And you want from 11 and you want 10. So let's say you have like this, you have two columns, right? So uh, let's mess up the design and we don't care. Um, just, it's just to explain to you how you can make it multiple columns and make it more advanced, right? So you have from one, to, this is from one to 10 and this one from uh, 11 to 20. So you have, two column of 10 rows, right? And then you can separate this, right? And so let's make it like this. It's just for the demo, like this, okay? And then you have another, so let's hide the, um, hide the dynamic guides and the guides. Okay. And the snap to guide. Okay. So you have two columns like this, and then you can have another one like this. If your form is made like this, you can have a large one like this. See, so you can have something more, you know, like this, Let's, right? So you have one column, another column, and then a big column here. So you can have multiple, you can have freedom like this, right? Um, so you, if, if you arrange your matrix, right? To be like a, here I have the first 10 row, here I have the latest, the, the next 10 row, and here I have, like for example, here you say you want from 21 and 10 rows. So you have from the row one to 10, it, it appears here. From the row 11 to 20, it appears here. 
to the row 21 to 30 EIP, EIP here, right? You see, 11 to 20, 21 to 30. So you, if you organize well your matrix, you can have a form like this, for example, right? That's, and you can, but, but, but here that then you have no limits, right? Because you can, you can do, uh, you know, you can do even like this if you want, you know? So if you duplicate this, right? And you say, this is from one to five, right? For example, so one to five, you have this, you have, let's say this is your form, right? Right? And because um, now I remember, I build something like this, not using the vertical design, but uh, it was data, but I built something like this. I remember now. So you have one to five P here. Then you have six to 16 appear here. Then you have 17 to 26 up in here. And then 36, 37, 27 to 36 up here, right? So here, see, you have a form like this, you know? So you have some property coming here, then you have this property, this property, and then you have another big property coming here. We can, you can do that. Or you can say, okay, I want this, I want a separation here, right? Like this, right? And you want something like this, right? And uh, this one is to 36. And this one will be to 37, right? So you can have something like this if you want. You know, you can do a, you can do a form like this. It looks like more form, right? So yeah, so you have a combination using the portal to isolate, but you, may, you need to make sure, right? You need to make sure that you have the, the right number what you display here is the five first, and then what you want to display here is the 10 next, right? You understand? But it's it's really flexible in terms of design. You know, you, so you're, not, you're not stuck. Did I answer the question? Uh, I believe you did. So, uh, quick, another, we have another question, matrix, is 3D uh, X, Y, Z like a cube? Yeah, matrix uh, is like the, you know, the matrix of the movie. <laughs> no, the, the matrix is, uh, the matrix is uh, the, the, funda the, 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 the source. That means when we say matrix uh, in, this, in, the, in this terminology, the matrix is there, say, okay, uh, for, um, for this, uh, for this property called this is a matrix this is what this is what I need to use you know this for cell phone is different this is a matrix of the cell phone so you're going to uh, export this and use this right as a matrix you know as a source as a you know sample I mean you, you you're going to build you're going to import those records um, to create the property items, right? So this is um, the, the the reference that need to be used in order to export those records and import them as a car property type design, right? Okay, today I want to talk about something cool. Okay, let's say <clears throat> I have a brand here but I want that to be a pop-up menu, right? But of course, I cannot go to the value list, right? And add a value list, I, I can't. It needs to be dynamic, it needs to be calculated. It needs it need to be different. It need, we need to have a different type of value list, right? So let me show you how it works, okay? 
we cannot have aesthetic value lists like like this right i can't do that no what i need i need a related value list related value list so when i built this uh 10 years ago i wanted to make it as as simple as possible right so let's say i want to add a pop-up menu i want the brand field to be a pop-up menu right based on the value list right so today we're going to to learn how to do a value a, a related value list right this is my value list correct so i have my value list that the title of the value list you know and this inside the title i have the values they're all based on records don't worry i'm going to explain that to you so let's say i want to add a value list related to the brand so I copy brand, right? So let's say let's go, let's call it car brand and car model, right? And car color, right? So I have the brand here, car brand, and I'm going to the value list here, right? And I'm going to create a value list named car brand. And here, let's innovate a little bit. Let's test your car brand, um, you know. So I have Renault. That's, if you guys remember the Renault in the United States, Renault Alliance, Renault 5, that, that uh, you need to go back in the 80s. And then you have something like this. Yeah. This is a very popular brand in France. And then let's do our Italian brand. Um, right? And... Um, yeah, so I, because you said you want to, me to innovate, I can innovate, right? Uh, let's go to the past and you have the Austin Morris, right? And we have the, um, uh, oh, this was my grandpa's favorite car. And then you have my grand uncle's favorite car. All those brands disappeared. Those no, but those yes. Okay, so I innovate a little bit in the brain. So look, go on, go online and look. Uh, this this was fabulous. This was fabulous. Paha, you know, it's French. So and Sinka was great car, you know, indestructible. And um, uh, I can innovate to Zaz and and. Uh, uh, let's go to the east, uh, NSU, right? And, um, oh, my favorite, Tatra. Okay, so you want me to innovate? I can innovate in car brand, right? <laughs> so I have my car brand, right? So now, how by magic, this value list will be connected to my assets. So I'm going to click here, add a new asset with a car. Remember I said in here, I, uh, in here, I said, in the property field, it won't, I want Chevrolet by default, right? But I can change the default. Let's say I want Tatra by default, okay? Or Renault, right? But it needs to be like this. Otherwise, it will be a question mark. 
because this is an evaluation. So I'm going to explain all this. Since we have some time, I can go. So I'm putting this. So let's create a new asset because this can this will come only on the new one when you do a change, right? It won't modify the past. So now I have this coming. Car brand Renault, it's a pop-up menu with this. Right? So uh, how the you know like but like magic that you know looks like magic. Right? So remember uh in the demo I did here. I said on the text, I have all the fields, I have the pop-up menu field here, right? So I have the pop-up menu. So this is a field that will appear on the, on the, you know, all of those will be hidden. Only this one will show up. And this is a field defined as a value list, as a pop-up menu using a value list, but it's related value list, right? So that's what, because I can change the behavior. For example, let's go to the system and I say, I don't want that to be a pop-up menu. I want that to be a drop-down menu, right? A drop-down, you know, drop-down menu. So if I go to my assets and I create a new one, well, it's a car. Now this is a drop down. So that means I can I can I have a list, or I can put whatever I want, right? So this uh, we have the behavior. You know, the, the, the field comes, and so I have her, uh, you know, like I said here, I have the, the drop down, the pop up menu, checkbox, right? So, for example, I want the chassis type, for example, to be like a, a truck, compact, sedan, you know, something like this, right? So, I'm going to my system and I'm going to say, the chassis, I want that to be a radio button, right? So I'm going to my value list and I'm going to add a new value list named chassis, right? And here I say, okay, it's a truck. Then it's a, a minivan. And it's a sedan, it's a compact or convertible, right? Like something like this, right? So I'm, so I'm going to my assets, create a new one. It's a car and boom. Right? Compact convertible text. Oh, what happened here? In even sedan truck. Why why bring this? Um my 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 data are a little bit um weird uh in this because I you know that that's funny though, because I have no way chassis type. Oh, I have two chassis type. That's why, right? So that uh, shouldn't happen to have two the same, right? Um, so, okay, so that, you see, so uh, this design, I, I, okay, I create this design to be simple, but there's flows, you know? So in that case, that the chassis type of the computer Laptop, desktop, that's the chassis type of the car, right? So I need to go here and change this name here and say, okay, this is a car chassis type, right? 
So if I go there now and create a new, so because I want to make it simple, but to have both the same, it's more like more unlikely anyway. Oh, I need to rename the the value list as well because you understand. Oh yeah, I don't have the the renaming. Uh, the rename is not working, so I need to go and um, um, value value no val okay, and then I can change the call chassis type. This one. Okay. Okay, so um, so let's pretend it never happened, right? And um, so no, car chassis type, why it doesn't come? Okay, so get on my nerve. I changed the name. Maybe it's not it's not this one. Was this one old car chassis type? So let me see. It need to be the same. The name of this, the name of this need to be the same on this. So I don't understand why. Definitely don't want to work. Okay, so uh, I don't know what happened here. Um, so let's pretend it, uh, you know it, it was working well, but uh, I can just delete the value list and create a new one. Something happened. So uh, so let's put some, you know, sedan, truck, and, okay. So let's see if now it's working. Yeah, I, I saw it working. It, it connected. It connected immediately. Okay, so now it works, okay? So, so, oh, those uh, value lists is very simple, okay? So I, I build that in three level, but sometimes you, you can have four and sometimes you can have five, but let's, you know, for this demo today, I'm, I'm going to have three level. This is just for visual organization on here. Let's say uh, you have an entity. You know what the entity means on the database world is invoices is an entity, contact is an entity, accounts is an entity, project is an entity, task is an entity. Okay. So entity is pretty much assets here is an entity. User is an entity, right? So an entity is the main world of data, right? So that means account is an entity of, and, you have, and then you have a connection with contact, connect with, with project, but the entity is, you know, um, accounts, right? So for, for to prevent that list to be unreadable, if you have many entities, right? you organize them by entity. So if you have a, you know, you click here, you say, you know, I have my contacts entity, right? And here I want to add, you know, cities, right? And then you have, you know, Paris, London, and uh, Rome, right? So, that means now this value list, because it is a you know value list, can be used in your contact layout. You call it on your contact layout. But if this is just for visual organization here to it's like a drawer, you know, it's not it doesn't have a function more than just let you organize better that big list, right? Okay. So this organization here is based on three tables. Three. Okay. 
you have this one, this one, and this one. So, valley is the value list entity. Valley, like entity. Value lists, value lists, no, value list entity. Value list is this. That the entity and that the value list. And the item is where you put this. Three tables, they have few, very few um, fields. This one has, the most important field is this one and this one. Then you have the entity, you, know, you have only the title and one ID. Then you have the item, right? You have the value and those two IDs. So how that works? You create first an entity you selected. So here in this table, I have the selected entity value list. So when I when I select this, this is the ID I selected here, right? This D745 assets. Contacts is AD14. Pharma is 28C8. So I have a different ID for those records. So let's say I want to I want to create now that I create this, I want to create a value list, right? Organized into that context. So I have my, val my value, like entity. Okay. So let's forget about the G. Uh, you know, the magic key, let's, you know. So you have the, the ID and you have the title, right? So we have those three records here. So I was on contacts, correct? I was on contacts. Then you have the val, right? So let's say you have the val. You want to create a value list attached to this entity, right? So you select the entity. See, for example, here I always I already have cities. It's correct. On this entity contact, I have cities. So you see here, this is AD14, AD14. So this is connected to this. If I add a new record here and I paste this here, the same, right? And I call that country. Boom, it's coming here. Because this is the what I selected, this ID. So the relationship here of this portal shows me only those two. Now I'm selecting countries. So if I go, remember I have global field here. I have the entity is this and the selecting value list is this, D27, right? So if I go there, I see the, D, the D27 is this, is country. Now, I'm going to the items and I said, okay, right? The item, I said, okay. I'm going to create a new record, right? I want to create a new record with, I want, I want to add item here. This entity, Right, with this item, uh, this uh, value list, I want 
this value. Now, I create a new record with the same that the same country with the same entity and I want Italy. So now you understand how it works. It's just a connection of table with ID. You select contact, you select country, and here it's easy because I'm creating the value list directly, right? So this has, you have three relationships here. The G, H, and I. So I am in T106. I have G, H, and I. Those are the three relationships related to and uh, G, H, and I. Okay. So G is the entity. So I want them all. All the entity I'm creating here, I want them all. So I'm using the Cartesian link, which this says show all. All the record in this relationship, this will all show all. Then here I'm saying show here only the one you selected here with a global field. So I'm putting the value I'm here in this here, right? I'm putting here which entity I'm selecting and I'm related this with the ID of the entity in this here, in this, in this table, right? So now this list here will show only the one you selected here because you you when you click here on this button here, you set a field with the ID of the record. And then you do the same here. You have the I, which is with two fields. You show the records with the ID you select here and the ID you select here, and then you have this. But this one is particular because I can create. I can create, correct? A low creation, right? So that means here in this table, I can create one, right? Here, you need like, to create an entity, you need a little script with a layout. So I have a castle window. I'm creating a new record, right? And here I can put a name. and it's selected. Now, if I click here, I'm going to that table and I'm creating a record related to this one, right? Uh, and here, for the relation creation, you do, you know, test one, test A, test B, right? Etc. So I'm going to give you this file so you can you can learn how to do that, right? So how you so do you have any question? Uh, why do you create the global field that connects the system table instead of relating to level one to level two and level two to level three? And how how you read? Really, I want to select this and select this, select this, select this, select this. How you do that without a global field? Setting the global field, you change the relationship. You get only the one related to assets. So in that value list, in that value list table, right? Assets is the entity, right? So this is the entity of assets. So you set, you show only the one with this ID because 
the global fields of the selected entity will show you here only the one with this ID or the, you know with with these fields, right? So you need a global. Without a global, we can do anything because I changed it. I can click on it. So here I have a script that says, right? Set field, right? With a parameter, right? So, um, see, I don't have the global field when I the, the, the global variable, and the, I can. So I, I'm setting the. I have a I have a parameter here, and I'm setting a field, right? So that's why I need the global. Otherwise, you cannot do that. Uh. Yeah, uh, th they're just saying um, relating system relating system to level one, level one to level two, and so on. Yeah, but that's what I've done. Oh, you want you want to know you you say, but you can't because this is linked to this, and then this will link. To, so this one is related to this one, and this one is really this one, and this one. So you cannot have one flat relationship. You understand? You need to have three, one, two, three, like I've done here. Uh, T106. So you have three. This one, this one, this one. So you have three tables, one, 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 right? They are related to this one. In this here, I have the entity global, the value list global. Those two, that the one I, I I change those fields, right? Clicking with the the script, so I set this field. For example, if I change this field with another ID, the list here will change because it will it will show me different related records with a different ID. Got it. Okay, so now they get it. So okay. Uh, we have another question. Yes. Can you select from list of level two or always from level three? What do you mean select? Uh, like, can you, that's all that says is, can you select from list of level two or always from level three? So, but you're selecting from two right now. So. Yeah. I, let's say, I mean, asset, those are all the value lists, value lists I organize into the assets. This is the value list organized in the, you know, this is a, this is a title of the value list I organize in asset. And this is the items, you know, this is like doing this, right? It's like doing this, a hard risk and solid, right? Hard, right? It's like doing this. This is the title of the list. And this is the list here. It's doing the same. So now how I can, how I can connect this, right? And get a value list to work like this. And to be different, well, remember this field here, whatever is here, as the property is the same name as the value list, right? So for example, if I go to the property in car, car brand is the same name, the label, is the same name of the value list, car brand. So now I have a way to connect the one record with a value list, right? But I to get this here, I do need to go here and create a value list, which will be a related value list. Related, this is related from a relationship. 
So let me explain. Okay. If I go to my schema and I go to assets, this is a table, the T18F is the table I have here. This is a T18F, T18F, right? So this table here is this relationship, is this one, this, this occurrence. The table here is related to this occurrence. Then from this occurrence, I have another occurrence that point to the value list items. So this, this occurrence here points to this. Uh, I might have open entity. Let's close this. Let's close this and open this, this one. Okay. So the T, see this one, right? The T 18 F one points to this table here. Correct. But the relationship between this table and this table, right? So you have this one and this one. This one here is this. This one here is this. And the two are related. The property title, this field, with the value list item. This uh, value list title, right, value list title. So, thanks to that relationship, right? I can connect. So if I go this, if this is car brand, right? So if I go, let's go to that record. So I'm going to that record here, you know, in the T, because the T18F relationship, go to the asset property items. This is the table I need to go. Okay, so let's go. Asset property item. This is the, this is this table. So let's, let's look for car brand, right? In the, do I have the item? Yeah, here. I go here, car brand no um but uh, no because this is a property title property that oh sorry here this is all my car brand so all the record here car brand right so now if i have a relationship from this table with this field connected to this field, well, thanks to the relationship, right? This here will show me only those records, right? Because I'm asking for property title connected to the value list title. Remember the relationship here, it says from the property as the property items to the value list items related to property title. So car brand, car brand on both tables, right? So car brand here, car brand here. So if I'm going here and I said, okay, I have car brand here, show me the related record with car brand. You say on this table, it will find those. It will show you this because that's the property of, you know, that, 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 that how relationship works. So how I can convert that into a value list, for example? Okay, remember I have two relationships. 
Okay, I have two occurrences, this one and this one. I'm going to the value list here and I create a value list and I say, use value from a field. That means this is a related, it's a related value list, right? Boom. I say, okay, in the T18F1, show me in the value list the values include only related values starting from the T18F. So how that works? I know it's confusing already that we have a value list um, um, webinar that we can show, right? So how this works, because it's, it's a little bit confusing and understand, and I will explain that. You say, go to the final, go to the table where you want to see the value. The value are in the value list items. I want to see all the car brands, right? But you don't, if you do this, right? It won't work, right? Because it will show you all the values. It will show all the values. If I do this, look what happened. I have all the values. All the values in that table. See? All. Because you said, okay, go to that table and show me all the value. And see, you say, no, 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 no. Include only the one related to the T18F. You go to the F1, the final, but you go back and you say, yeah, but show me only on the T18F. So now this, do this. Why? Because you said, okay. I want go to that table, right? Right? Show me the value of you know items only related to that table using that relationship. But if you are in the record here with car brand, if you go there, you say, okay, you want only the record related to car brands because you are in the record car brand here so this we say okay you want to you want a value list hey nick yes uh fairfield is experiencing a power outage i don't know how long my internet's going to last oh yeah okay we i'm, I'm done i'm done okay. so <laughs> so you understand you, you understand this okay so you say, yes, I want in that table, I want the values, but only the one that using that relationship between T18F1 and T18F. And then you say, okay, if this says, you know, if this says car brand, I'll say, okay, show me only the one on car brand here. I know it doesn't make any sense why they did that, but it's that, that how it works, right? So you can now filter via relationship, right? So like this, because this field, this field here, pro the, the title says car brand. So it will say, okay, I'm going to show you only those because this says car brand. If I go here and say, okay, okay, you want, to see on the car chassis. Boom. So one, two, three, four. One, two, sedan, truck, convertible, compact. Right? That's it. Because this field here says car chassis. There we so, go. So. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I have a quit. There's some questions, but I'm going to forward them on to you tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Anyway, I have a meeting, so at four, so I no, need to. No, we both got to go. Like I said, power's out over here. I don't know how long internet's going to last, so <laughs> we're just going to wrap this up. Have a good one, everybody. We will see you later uh, and tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.